This video is starting right where I left off in the previous video. I said I was going to move on to fprintf, but there's actually one more topic I forgot to mention. I'm going to scroll to the very top of part 040 input and output, and I'm going to show you something that can go wrong and really confuse uh, folks who are new to programming or MATLAB when using the input function. So suppose I run this first section here, and it's just asking me to enter a name in single quotes. But suppose I don't. Suppose I click back over here and, you know, maybe that was a mistake. Maybe that's not what I wanted to do. So I click back over here and I run it again. And I mean, this looks the same. There's no difference from what it had before. And then I'm going to open a new file and do a clear and a CLC. And then I'm going to set X equal to seven. And I'm going to display out X and then I'm going to run this code. And I'm going to just show you with clicking the mouse. I'm going to really emphasize I am running this right here. So I'm going to click run section. Huh? Nothing happened. That's weird. I'm going to click it a bunch more times, right? When it doesn't work the first time, just click it a bunch. Huh, it's still not working. That's weird. Is my MATLAB broken? What's going on? Well, the command window has queued up all these commands. It's waiting for me to enter my name in single quotes, and it's not going to go forward until I do. So, I mean, obviously one solution is to just, you know, type in my name and hit enter. But then it looks like, oh man, that's weird. It looks like this. Now what happened is I ran that section asking for a name more than once. So now it's waiting on me to do it the second time. Here is the thing I want you to remember. If something screwy happens, click into your command window, hold control, tap C a bunch. Tap, 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 tap. And as you can see, it's even showing me running the latest version of this code here because that was queued up. That was ready to go in order. When you click into the command window and press control C and tap it repeatedly, it basically just kills the currently running program. And that can be very useful. When we get into the section on loops, you're gonna use control C to end a program if it reaches an infinite loop. It's also useful if you've happened to run input by accident a few times. And just generally, it's a good thing to remember. Something screwy happens in MATLAB, first thing you should try. Click on the command window, hold control, tap C a bunch. After that, Try CLC. No, sorry. After that, try, you can try CLC, but then also clear is actually what I meant to say. Clear out your workspace. Try that. If things still seem to be weird, close MATLAB, restart it. And if things are super, super weird, I guess restart your computer. But I've never had that be an issue. Um, usually the control C works. And if not, closing and reopening MATLAB almost certainly will fix your problems.